Hey, what's up, Peak Freaks? It's time to do some lifting. It's Wednesday. We gotta lift some weights. And plus, we gotta sweat. We gotta burn the fat. And we gotta do some single life. So, after running up the hill, so many sprints. Tessie, how many sprints did we do yesterday? I don't know. It was a lot, guys. It was so many sprints. How many, Ivanka, you think? It was a lot of sprints, a lot of cardio, high intensity cardio. So the glutes are already on fire. That's why we gotta stretch them, prepare, and still do the workout. So today, what you need is one dumbbell. That's it. That's it. What you need now. Tyson will be modifying some of the exercises. He's gonna be doing like a standing row instead of the dumbbell because he feels a little bit in his lower back. So he needs to modify it, that comes to you too. If you feel that you need to modify, you can follow him and exactly do the same thing. So let's roll, let's roll. Okay guys, everybody, we are starting. Let's do this, let's do this. <coughs> This is not mine, come, can you come with us and start warming up and then later you can do your skateboard. All right, come on guys, get this stretch drop over there. Let's go, ooh, hamstring stretch guys, this is it. So follow us, follow along. Look, you can have a piece of rope and do the same exercise. Now we're gonna bend that leg and go out to the side. Ooh. 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 stretch with us because otherwise it's gonna be hard for you to do a workout. Why do the stretch drop? It hurts. So do a regular stretch with us, okay? Well, it hurts because you probably are tired. Remember, I'm your partner. Okay, across, so we're gonna keep that shoulder on the floor, bring that leg to the side, and come right, right back up in the center. The whole goal is to keep that shoulder on the floor, because you wanna hit that glute stretch, right? Now we're staying sideways. Heel into the glute, the bottom leg should be bent, and now just kick it forward, there you go, and bring it over. Oh yeah, kick it forward. Kick it forward and bring that over. Yes, hips forward. Nice, strong, balanced body. Kick it. And again. Good. Let's do this. Other side, everybody. Other side. So we're going to start with the hamstring, right? Toes are up. You can't point your toes. Otherwise, you're not going to stretch the hemi. So hemi, hemi stretch right there when you bring those toes down. Your hamstring will be. No, you can't point it. You have to bring it down. Yeah. So tap it. You can hold it. I like that. Just Touch. holding it. It feels good. Ooh. Like that. It feels good, right? It hurts, but it feels good. Just a few times like that. Now we're going to go out to the side. Out to the side. Now you can hold it. Extend the other leg. Now like make sure that the hips are pointing up. Up. Open it up. Feel that stretch. Bring it up and down. Now, guys, get ready. We're gonna be doing a lot of single legs. So that's why we gotta do that full stretch. Give each. Give yourself that time. Good. Now let's bring it across. Now. This is a whole series of stretches that we do. You can hold it here, you can bend that knee right here, bring it up and back down. Again. That the crack so bad, but it's not. <laughs> Sometimes it is like this, it feels like that. You wanna crack it, but it's not going. Keep that shoulder on the floor, good. And now sideways, guys, are you gonna kick it or what? Kick it forward. You can also do this stretch just by bringing without the bend. Look, without the bend, you can do the same. You can bring that heel into the glute, and you're gonna have the same effect holding it. But stay sideways and make sure that the bottom leg is bent. All right. Now we gotta stretch the glute. So you can stay on the floor, bring that leg over the one that is on the bottom, lean back, push those hands through the floor, slide that leg, and then lean forward. 
and exhale. And it's right there, you stretch it, right? But try not to round your spine, try to bring your whole body. Now the other way you can do the same exercise, I'm gonna show you guys here on that bench. You can do this by sitting, look, sitting down, bringing leg over above the knee. I'm leaning forward as I'm pressing gently, pressing that knee. You're leaning and you feel the stretch in your glutes. Now other stretch would be to hold on something that is super stable, super stable, and then when you go down, like this, we have a lot of dumbbells and you guys can see me, yes. I would go down like this and lean back, let the glutes go down and like really, really stretch the, the legs. That's exactly what you should be doing. So stretch the legs, because this will activate the inner thighs to like stretch the inner thighs. It feels good, lower back is being stretched like this. Go down, go low. And I love this stretch because it like pulls and stretches the lower back so it feels really really good let's reach down towards the floor stand up straight open up your hips come on Tessie, let's go deep breath in and exhale my hip flexors are woo, tired from runs you feel that too yeah. hip flexors right here so why don't we stretch them let's go so again i want you to pay attention to your body always what's tired what huh? oh okay Oh, because you have a bruise. Well, just try it. See if you can. If not, just hold the quad stretch a little bit more right here. Or do a high plank position. Go into a runner stretch right there. Okay, push your hips forward and feel the stretch, okay? Now we're gonna switch it. Right leg forward, left leg behind. Now, again, push your whole body forward. Forward, you see how I'm pushing it forward? Yes, and I'm opening up the hip flexors right here. And again, try not to get tense here, just stay loose. Feel the stretch. Good job. Look, throughout the session, if you start feeling that you need to still loosen up your hips, just make comments and we're gonna give you some stretches. But for now, let's roll. Ivanka, we are starting. Her warm up was a warm up on on the skateboard right there. Okay, you ready? Ready, are you ready? Let's do this. Single arm chest press. Who is with us? Hello. Hi Liz. Okay. Go. We have benches back. You can do this on the floor. So you're gonna be on the bench. Can you do it on the floor? Don't don't lift my seat. Don't lift with your lower back. Go. Okay. Single dumbbell, single dumbbell, you guys can do it. Now, let's go. Hmm? No, I'm just getting it. So, lighter dumbbell, lighter dumbbell, and let's go. So it's gonna be single arm, Ivanka, only single arm, okay? You're gonna lay down, the other dumbbell is not in your hands, just one arm, that's it. You can do a warm up like this, but keep your knees bent, keep your knees bent, and do a chest press, you know the chest press. There you go, control motion. She's going, well, I'm gonna be here. What if you guys, guys are starting with the right side, I'm totally safe being right in the center here. Let's go. Pump it up. Strong chest. Do not start with heavy one right now. Yeah, I want you to start with a lighter one. I see you have 15. No. 10. No. What do you have? Oh. Oh, 12. Okay. I don't use 10. Never. Not even the warm up? Okay, he start 12. I start 20. Oh. But for you, maybe it's going to be. No, yeah. I'm not going to be doing 15. So let's go, guys. Engage your abs while we do the single arm. It causes your abs to really be pulled in a good way, not pulled in the wrong way. We're talking about activation muscles right here. Support, breathe out. And bring it safely down everybody because we have a lot of people around us. So let's watch the safety, safety first. Now we're gonna do right arm bend over row. Now Payson's gonna be doing bends because his back is bothering him, so he's gonna do a single arm. Evan 
that your option is here with me or over there. So for the bent over row, not like this, that's not how we're gonna do it. You can do the single arm, leaning like this, and then going with single arm, totally fine. I can show you sideways as well. Let's go. Pull it, squeeze it, and stand up. Stand up nice and show everybody your bend. Don't use the bend at the Straight down towards the floor. I'm going to the gravity. Come on. Roll it. You see how I'm going with that roll? I am going exactly down and up. You gotta, you gotta do it right, otherwise people will be following you in the wrong way. So you see my left leg is on the bench, my right arm is rolling, so I have enough space here. The same arm as we did the chest press, we're doing a roll right now. And fine. Now we're gonna do a single leg squat. The first round, we're not using any dumbbells, anything. We want the body to still get warmed up. So, as you can view with me, look, guys, right leg is off the floor, no, right leg is on the floor, left leg is off, so let's remember, okay, that this is the working leg. Get up, right leg, right glute, back straight, look. High five. She wants to have a game with everything, right? There you go. High five. High five. <laughs> Ticey. Nice. Oh. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> she fell. Look at my room she has. See, does your kids do the same thing? Do, do they do the, the same thing? Let's go, single leg. Let's go, single leg. Left leg is off the floor, please. You're going to be removed from this square. This square is going to be removed. Hold on, I can't. Stop. Next to me. Next to me. Next to me. I already found my plane. There you go. Clap. Just throwing it. 
Place a good posture first. Knees are bent, shoulders are back, chest is out. Now, I'm still with my 15 here. You can totally grab uh, heavier weights, but we're gonna be here for a while because we gotta do a few of them. The single arm takes time. Row it, row it, all the way, squeeze it, control that dumbbell, don't let it go down fast. And fine. Now, single leg squat. Now, which leg will be working? Left leg has to stay, right? Left leg is on the floor, right leg is off the floor. My first foot was not even. Okay, let's go. I am lifting this leg up. Let's go. Left. Well, you need to try it. It's, it's just move your dumbbells. Just try. If not, just try. Let's see. It hurts, so do a regular squat then. You can do the same one. You want to clap? She wants to do a clap with me. likes to do it and it's gonna get her for the workout. That's right. You can do this with your sister, look. You can do this with your kids, guys. Ah, uh, so as you realize, look how we're not going below. This bench is a little bit below my knee level because if you're gonna go lower, it's gonna be very difficult for you. You want that first? See if you actually get that balance going and and you have ability to go down and up without dropping that leg on the floor. So and time. As you realize what happens to the other lifted leg of the floor, you realize how your quad and your hip flexors and your glutes actually were working. Pamela, where have you been, Pam? And Lisa is saying hello. A kid, a kid, fam, a kid, fam is there. All right, guys. Next, back to the beginning. Let's do this. We upping our weight. I'm going heavier. You going heavier? Yeah. Yes. Cool. Can I do the bench right now? You can do the floor? Yes, I remember. Let's go, guys. Right on. Remember what I told you. It's going to take a while. Have your dumbbell. Go, go, go. Single arm. Excellent. Monk. I just want dumbbell, honey. Lay down on the floor right here. Single arm. In the center. Oh, you want to be there? No, that's not, that's not good. You will have to be on the ball. Or your hips have to be high, your head has to be really laying down on the bench. I would not suggest you do that. Let's go. Now, heavier the dumbbells go, much harder staying on the bench. Never be close to someone. Never be close to someone who has the dumbbells in their hands and you are underneath their bench. You've got to move up a little bit farther. I love you too. Come on, everybody. 
everybody, you gotta go. A right arm, everybody, right arm. Come on. Use your left. Ah, time. All right. Single leg squat. Remember, working leg, left leg. You're not staying on your right. You stay on your left, so it's working left leg. All right, you can take the dumbbells now. I'm gonna use the dumbbell. If you are not ready for this, that's fine. You don't need to. Okay, don't do it. Left leg, down on the floor. I'm holding the dumbbell right here in front of my chest. I'm going down and up. I'm fully standing, squatting, standing up straight. Deep breath in and exhale. Oh yes, slowly down, coming right back up. Now, do not bring your leg too close to the bench, because then look what's gonna happen. You're gonna push that knee forward. You want that 90 degree angle when you're sitting, look, 90, right? That's where my leg is. You see how perfect this goes? Down, come up. Oh yeah, here and there support with my toes on the other leg. Totally fine. Whoa, good job. No, that's not a good one for this place. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, and time. Sure, we're going left arm chest press, everybody. Left arm, I'm still on the bench. Thigh seek, thigh seek. Let's go. Yeah. Are you gonna be on the floor again? Okay, listen to me. Go, go with left arm. You gotta be stay occupied, okay? Next one, okay? Just one more, just one more. Then we're gonna all rotate. Then you're gonna go on the bench and place, I'm gonna go on the floor. Yes. I can go on the floor. Come on. Left arm. Lay down, lay down, lay down. You gotta lay down. Can't do a high five right now. You need to stop. Because 
I have to concentrate on lifting. It's okay. It's okay. She is has a. She's pretending that she's doing it with me, right? That's right. But look at you going. It makes it fun. Yeah. It makes it fun. That's right. And, <coughs> All right. Back to the right arm, correct? No, left arm. Left arm, right? Right leg, left arm. How we do put do left arm and right leg on the floor? It was right leg, right arm, right leg on the floor. Right arm, right leg on the floor. Left arm we did? Left arm? Left arm or right arm? Left arm. Left arm. Left arm. Right, right arm. Right arm. Back to right arm. Chest press. Let's do this. Yeah, you can figure it out. Right arm. Let's go. For a second, you can have a brain freeze. Let's do this. You doing chest press? Are you doing chest press? No, you can no, jump rope no, right here. Jump rope there. Go, guys. Nothing worse than I'm I do level 12. 
20 on the roll for we got one minute and 15 that. seconds. And then I need to practice. You're not there yet. Yeah. Just do it. I've been practicing. Just do it. Every single night. Uh, I work here so much. And it's going to work. Eventually, but out of nowhere, you're going to feel amazing. Great. Great. You're going to looking. You're going to be looking great. So, left arm. Left arm chest press. She was doing clapping. Fantastic. You want to show everybody yeah, how you're doing single leg squats? Here, but let's go. Single. I want to see single arm chest press, everybody. Single arm. Single arm. Ah. Mama, can you do it? Let's go. Is it 25? Is that 25? Nice chest, don't you have you up there? It hey. pulls your hips a lot. I think I'm never going to have one. Great. <laughs> uh, a lot of X today, guys. Uh. You should on the bench in the right direction. Usually the Russian puts her head where the ass goes and her ass where the head goes. So her head is basically like on everyone's ass juice. It doesn't matter, I just want to show them where I am. Ah. Ah. I, and I'm an ass sweater too. Ah. So that bench gets juicy. Alright, alright. Stop. You are lifting. Get out of here. <laughs> if Samuel coming into play, we are, we are totally in trouble. Samuel comes around, Samuel sweats cream cheese. Sweats cream cheese. Samuel sweats cream cheese. You know that? Go! Go, go, 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 go! Go, go
right side because it's right side. What is it? Oh, Renegade Rolls. Yes. And then, super lovely. And then we're going to do a single leg deadlift. So we're going to do the same leg and the same arm. So oh, you can do just dumbbell here, come up and stand up. You can do a dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever you have here with both hands because we were using both hands. So we're going to continue with both hands. You ready, Casey? All right, let's do this. Let's do the single arm. I'm using the 25s. Let's go, everybody. Let's go. I'm going to make sure we are in the screen, not outside. Please let us know if we can help you with anything, nutrition, mindset. And let's go. We are always available. We just need to schedule a call. And let's get right on it. Shh, right now, peak performance, mind, body, and business accountability coaching group is available to you. You can send us a message. We can send you a link. And you can join online workouts. The most important part of all of it is the group coaching. So let's do this. Mama, how long is the workout? Still lifting. You know the rules. Don't ask when somebody's lifting. How many minutes we've been lifting? Where is the live clock here? We've been going for a while, but not that long. We started a little bit we've later. Been go, we've been going for a while, but not that long. For a while, but not that makes super. Sense. So we started a little bit later than normal, and we still have a good amount to go because we just started an incline. So let's do this. So now, renegade row, high plank. Keep your hips and shoulders square. So when you go down, 
your body becomes a straight line. Look, straight line, perfect straight line. Reach towards the floor. Now, for some of you, you cannot do this. What I want you to do, listen, just stay close to the bench, keep that right leg on the floor, go down, maybe tap the floor, and if you have to, hold on to the bench, okay? Just do a body weight, that's it, try this. Try to keep this, this section totally square, okay? So no rotation, no opening up of the hips. A few more, because I was just showing you this. Now, standing leg, the one that you on it, should be slightly bent to activate the glutes. Don't hyperextend, don't lock your knee. And time. Good job. They are hard. They're hard exercises, okay? Let's do this. Incline. Left arm ties you, ready? How is your elbow? Your elbow is better? You have the elbow. Okay, you have three. Injuries, <laughs> not injuries. Those are little twitches. No, when you work out, when you work out, sometimes you feel certain things. So you might feel a little bit, but it's better off to do a workout and feel like that, not to do anything at all, at all, and be unhealthy. <sighs> Single arm, left arm. Single arm, incline press. Ah. Hard, hard, hard. Pump it. Squeeze it. Abs are tight. About the chest, not about the head. your left now, right? So left arm renegade row, feet are wide. My hand is higher, maybe you have a handle. My hand is higher, so I'm elevated off the floor. I have a little bit more room here. So again, I'm lifting and I'm bringing it down slowly. gonna be finishing my pre-workout super duper pre-workout concoction yeah let's dial this in having a good concoction pre-workout post-workout is very very important right on Tyson is getting ready let's do this are you feeling this in your arms already I feel it already guys I feel it I don't know why more than ever I think that rope machine that we did, how many? We did we did this for like 40, it was 40, 
because um, you didn't do four. Well, you did not like 40. Five. I did 30, 30 minutes yesterday. Because I, I, mean, I missed some of the stuff. But it that doesn't matter. I'm talking about the total, guys. doesn't matter. I'm, I'm talking about the total. Okay? That's what we're speaking about. 40. Not saying how much you did or how much someone else did. The total, right? I just said. Uh, so after doing the rope, probably that's what it is. time. If your weights are lighter and you're still doing them, go for it. I want you to totally like exhort yourself and feel it hard because we're going heavier weights so we're going to do less repetitions probably than you. But if you have a very light weight, I want you to keep on going. Feel more. Now you know the exercise so it's no brainer. Okay, let's go. Renegade roll. I don't think still this renegade row activates lower back more than ever than actually bent over. You should do a standing on one leg row with the back. No, it doesn't matter, but you were on both legs. Now you're going to be on single leg. Okay. Standing or squat? Standing. Standing. One leg off the ground. One leg off the ground, totally off. Yes. Try to get the balance going slower. Slower and more control. Young boy 
toes should not be going heavier here. Let them do more repetition. You have to have strong abs to do really single arm. And you will feel that more than ever. You gotta squeeze your abs more than ever. Totally different feeling of the work. And bring it down. Don't hold the breath, my friends. Let's go. Taisi. Do standing leg, single arm. You can see him right here. Left arm, left leg is on the floor. And he's low, rolling left arm, okay? So, feet are wide on the ball of your feet, hands underneath. A little bit can be wider, but you want that split position, but don't do a split, totally. You want a wider feet, so look, you have that balance, that room, right here, stay stable. And bring my charger. Oh. Yes, it's going yeah, down. Please, please, please run it. Run it. Run before Five it's gonna go down. Let's go. It's in my office, please. A lot of videos today, and the phone shut down, even though it was charged. But it happens, right? We're gonna plug you guys in, and all of them are work. in the office. Where was it? The side of the thinking chair. Gotta check every single plug. Are you guys there? Are you guys there? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So it's always on the side of the thinking chair. You know, always on the side of the thinking chair. There we go. All right, so let's go again. Not the same thing. We're doing another thing. Overhead press. Overhead press right. Can you close the door? This one. Overhead press right. Then we're gonna do a single leg row. So the same arm the same leg, we're gonna do a row, and then you're gonna finish with the bicep curl. You can, you can stop to change the dumbbells, right? So, Tess, you ready? Ready? 
ready? Okay. But right arm. Standing. You really want to go overboard. Raise one leg. Over the board. 90. Left arm bicep. Ticey, you ready? 
left arm bicep, left leg is on the floor, you you are doing seated. That's your that's your back bothers you when you're doing single leg, when you stand up and do single leg, bicep. Which what? Left leg down on the floor. No? All right, he's going. I'm going too. different color. 
This is a peak freak style, my friends. The whole family is learning like this. Let's go. show them and, and show them the way that it can be done, it can be fun. Movement is is the key for your health and happiness and wellness. So guys again you have any questions remember we run the mind body and business program 101 with which is the operate to dominate course for entrepreneurs, business owners, home, stay at home moms, someone that wants to just change their life and get their shit together. That's what it is. It's all about really focusing, has, ha, having a laser beam focus in life, having an order and changing something in their life. That's 101. We have also MBB, which is the mind, body and business. It's a peak performance group coaching, something that has never been done, even though peak physique has been out there for 20 years. This is a new program. It's totally different than that was ever before. So I know that some of you guys are hopping on and you think that this is the same, this is totally different, has never been done before. This is a next level of coaching that has helped already tremendous amount of people. Uh, the 101 is, uh, is telling us exactly how the plan is, how the, how the execution is going. It's absolutely amazing, it has changed a lot of people's lives. So it's time for you today, choose one, Send me a message, let's get on a call, let's schedule a free coaching call for 20 minutes and we're gonna decide if you are the right fit for the program and if you are the right candidate because only serious people can enter this plan, this program, you know? So if you have that serious, you wanna do it but you don't have the tools and you don't know how to get there, this program is for you. All right, everybody, Tracy, come on, let's do this. Finito. No excuses. Yes. No! Excuses! That's how we finish every single session, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Have an awesome day. Bye.